Yes. Come on. Tinker's house isn't far. What's that? It looks Japanese. Well, it's the Japanese garden. Tinker said there was one near his house, but I didn't believe him. You never believe him. Come on, let's take a look, shall we? <laughs> so beautiful. These trees must be ancient. It would be a wonderful place to have a picnic. I'll second that. Well, we haven't time. We're already late. Come on. Julian. Dick. Hello. Hello, Tinker. Hello, George. Oh, hello. How's mischief? He's fine. Still up to mischief, though. <laughs> Naturally. Come on. I'll show you around. Think. A whole week to ourselves. Three cheers for brainy fathers. I just feel sorry for Mother, having a father and Professor Hailing under her feet. No offence, Tinker. What I'm afraid of is growing up like him. You know, one sock yellow, one sock blue. <laughs> and forgetting meals. At least your father doesn't shout as much as mine. He did before he left. And nobody, absolutely nobody, is to go into that tower. Well, can't we? Oh, I'd love to climb it. <sighs> Reminds me of your lighthouse. Could do with a lift if you ask me. Oh, Surprised he doesn't own one. So this is it. Wow. This is his latest experiment. And top secret. His greatest idea yet, he says. Still working on it. And he's just left it lying here. That's what father did. And had it stolen. The door's double locked, remember? And would you like to try climbing up from down there? No fear. What a noisy clock. Doesn't he mind it ticking when he's working? Father would. He can't stand a dog barking, let alone a clock ticking. Can he too? I expect he's too excited by his experiments to notice. It's not my idea of exciting, being stuck up here all day. I'm going to be an explorer. Talking of which, we'd better start setting up camp. I thought we'd camp in my field. You name it, you've got it. Lighthouse, tower and field. Well, I do. It's mine. Father gave it to me. Was that before or after he bought you the lighthouse? I don't care whether you believe me or not. I own a field. Who cares if Tinker owns a field or not? At least we've got somewhere to camp. What on earth? Look. Tapper's travelling circus. Oh, yes. They were staying in my field. Circus? I like circuses. Me too. I suppose we can still camp there. I don't see why not. Will it be safe? What if there's lions and tigers? Oh, yes. Poking their heads in the tent while you're sleeping. I think we'd better go and have a word with Mr Tapper. Hey. A monkey wants to join the circus? Do any tricks, can he? You look out or I'll bite you. <laughs> Not me. I can make any monkey in the world come to me. And chimp and gorilla. Well, you can't make mine. So just you... See? <laughs> oh, you two just behave yourselves. Hello, gentlemen. Lad. Now, what's going on here? Go and set up camp. Tinker and I'll deal with this. <laughs> of course you won't bother us. We'll be on the other side of the gate, so we won't be in your way. Well, you won't be in our way. We won't be in your way. And, Jeremy, be nice to them. I just think it's nice for you to have some kids over. Why don't you fetch Charlie and go over and help them? Who's Charlie? Huh? You'll see. Oh, and I'll tell you what. Come over later and bring the others. Might show you a thing or two, I dare say. Thanks, Mr Tapper. That'd be wizard. Dead beat. Come on, Charlie. Wow! It's
It's a chimp. Isn't he lovely? Everything's sorted. Meet Jeremy and Charlie. Which one's which? Cheek! We've come to give you a hand. Strong as ten men, ain't you, Charlie? What's his name? I'd better introduce him. Mischief. Charlie, meet Mischief. Mischief, meet Charlie. <laughs> right, pass us that bag. And that. Right, where do you want them? How about here? Camping rule number one. Never pitch a tent under a tree. I just thought it would be cosier. As long as we're not hit by lightning. Well, it's still a nice and handy tree to climb if a tiger comes. <laughs> <laughs> big circus, is it, Mr. Tapper? Uh, we come early, haven't we, Grandad? The others will follow. Ah, well. Just one last look at the old place. Why last? Every ten years, I thought. Oh, things aren't what they were. I mean, there aren't the places to pitch nowadays. As a matter of fact, this is one of the last places left. And here it's only once every ten years. What? So you'll have to close down? Oh, it was all tappers in the old days. Nowadays, what? There's just four of us left. There's Jeremy and me, and there's Monty and Winks. The clowns? Where are the clowns? Ah, one and the same thing. Monty and Winks, clowns and acrobats. And I'll tell you something, they're going to feel it hard. Might not happen, Grandad. That was a good trick, Mr Wu. Now, there's a man who keeps himself to himself. Uh, Mr Wu! Come and show the young'uns what else you can do. He's marvellous with figures, he is. Works them out in a trice. My father's wizard at figures, too. He's an inventor. Ah, an inventor? What does he invent? Anything. He invented the scow wheel, if you've heard of that, and the electric trosimon. Really? Yes, I've heard of those. Your father must be a very, very clever man. He is. It was even in the paper about it. My father was furious. He's in the middle of his greatest... Uh, Mr. Wu, uh, can we uh, give you a sum? Of course. Ask me anything you like, I will give you the answer at once. Well, how about multiply 63,342 by 8,953? The answer in figures is 567-100926. Crumbs. I don't even remember the question, let alone get the answer. And there's no need to check up either. Right every time, eh, Mr. Wu? What about 